I accidentally ended up at the Goodwill on dollar day. I didn't even know that the place we were going had it. So stick around for today's thrift haul and see what I got. Hey everybody, my name is Kim and I am a part-time reseller on sites like Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. Today I have a thrift haul for you. It's from the regular Goodwill. I was traveling in New Jersey and like any good uh, thrift loving person, I decided that part of my vacation would be hitting up a couple of Goodwills. So I went on a Sunday and I didn't even realize that it was dollar day until I was checking out. Uh, a really great surprise, I actually went back and got a couple of things that initially I wasn't going to get, but once I realized they were a dollar, I thought, well, maybe that makes it a little bit more worth it. So I'm going to jump in and show you the nine items I got at the Goodwill. So my average cost of goods was $2.15. There were a couple of things that I did pay uh, closer to full price on. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys are these Merrill hiking uh, trail running shoes. They are in excellent condition maybe even like new there's like no signs of wear on these these were one of the items that i paid up for so i paid six dollars and 79 cents for these uh, but i have them listed for 75. Uh, that was the first item i bought and the only pair of shoes in this haul the next thing is this banana republic wool and cashmere blend men's jacket in a size large. Uh, it does have a little bit of wear to the fabric, but it's in pretty good shape. And I have had good luck with selling Banana Republic jackets in the past. So for me, this was something I was gonna pick up even before it was a dollar. These first three items were my pre at the dollar um, pickups. So I was initially gonna be paying like $5 for this. So getting it for a dollar was an amazing bonus. So, so comment below if your Goodwill does dollar days because this was a new concept to me. I've seen online that it exists, but it's the first time I've ever actually gotten to experience it. Okay, my next one are these Joe's jeans. These were a dollar. They have manufactured whiskering on them. This is the honey uh, cut. So they're a long boot cut. They're in really good shape. They do have some wear on uh, the hem, they're, the inseam is pretty long on these, so I'm not surprised that they have a little bit of wear there, but it really is the only place of kind of significant wear, maybe a little bit right here, uh, where you're going in and out of your pocket, but, so these Joe's jeans, I'm gonna list for 40, and they were a dollar. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the things that I went back for. Um, I was kind of debating on these, Chico's so slimming, pants to begin with and then once I found out they were a dollar I was like yes uh, I'm going back to get those right now this pink color they're a 2.5 which is 12 or 14 somewhere in there like a large uh, it's actually already sold they sold for 25 or 23.50 on eBay and I'm gonna try to mail them out today after I finish making this video so uh worth that dollar pickup because it was I think they were only listed a a day, two days before they sold. So loving that. All right, next I have this Banana Republic women's blazer. It's a size six. It's got this kind of detailing back here with this slit. Um, so I paid a dollar for this. I'm gonna lift it for probably around 25. It just has some nice details on it and I'm going to tag it with like business and professional um, as tags just to help the right people find it. The next thing is this Talbot's 100% linen jacket. It has a lot of like metal hardware like the buckles. Uh, it's got a hook up here on the top so you can close it like all the way up if you want to. Buttons. Um, this one I don't have posted yet because I want to steam it and get some of these wrinkles out. Um, I do like the 100% linen. I usually will pick that up. Even if like, I wouldn't have picked this up if it was in probably a different fabric. 
Um, but since it's linen and we're in kind of linen season, I did pick it up. I'm gonna put it up for 25, I think, but I need to do a little bit more looking at the comps to actually decide that. All right, so three more pieces. I have saved the best for last, so stay tuned. Uh, this is what I went back for when I realized I was a dollar. It's the Talbot, Talbot's Modern Ankle Jean, and actually in a 10 petite, I think. Yeah, 10 petite. And after I went back to get these and um, looked at comps, I, I should have picked them up even for their original price, I think, um, because I posted them for 30. I think this is one of the more kind of current cuts, and so, you know, comps suggested 30 are in excellent condition. I really try to pick things up in excellent condition. Sometimes I end up with things that are not just because I missed something or um, if it's a really high end item, then I'll do it. But I do try to pick things up in excellent condition. So these are Athleta Color Block Shine. You see the shine there, Revelation um, Capris. And they were size small. I like selling Athleta. This is maybe a little bit of an older piece, so it might take a little bit to sell. Um, but it's also my size and I work out. So if it doesn't sell, then I will just keep them. Um, and for a dollar, again, if I wear them or keep them for myself, I'm not mad about that. Okay, that brings us to the last piece. It is this rag and bone new tags tea skirt. It's a size 12, which is a great size. It has pockets. It was originally $325. I got it for $5.35. I didn't actually see this skirt when I first went through the store. It was when I went back to pick up those extra items because it was dollar day that I ran across this skirt. So that was my nine item haul. It was about $20 that I spent, a little under the under $20. And I think in total, when I list all of this stuff, it's gonna be about $450 that I'm listing it for. Of course, I'm gonna get less than that because I left some room to haggle. And also the platform fees are gonna take another, I don't know, 20% depending on which site it sells on. But still for $20 to making 250 is amazing. So it was a great day. And I'm so lucky that it was dollar day. So that brings me to the end of the haul. I appreciate you guys watching. If you hit the like button, that would be so helpful to me and my channel. And happy thrifting.